So a week ago, we had two new support weapon stratagems come out. We had the Quasar Cannon, the last 99 Quasar Cannon, and the Heavy MG. Um, people thought, I thought it would be a hard decision about what I want to bring in to, uh, to my Helldive missions, but, you know, it's clear to see what came out on top. You have A, a literal laser cannon, or B, a nerf gun, a end strike elite. Um, and everyone else will be picking the Quasar Cannon, and for very obvious reasons. So, when it comes to the question of why isn't anyone choosing the Heavy MG, you know, a lot of answers could come to mind. Uh, I personally have a lot of gripes with this gun. I, I just wondering why is it that when I choose the Heavy Machine Gun, I too become the most heaviest thing in my team, you know? Why does the other machine guns have twice or maybe more the ammo cap that my gun has? I mean, it's called a heavy machine gun, but we're only feeding this thing 75 bullets at a time as if it's trying to watch its figure, you know? They literally took the smallest drum mag they found and shipped it out like that. They couldn't even give me two. Two drum mags, like a DK bongo, they couldn't do that. They couldn't just find that, put it on my gun, and I won't be complaining. Literally won't. Let's let's just look at the rundown here. Let's check out what this thing has what this bad boy has to offer here. So can it clear mobs well? No. Is it good at a distance? N a little. Does it does it handle alright? It's kinda poor. And can it kill heavies, which is a big one. That's why the last cannon is greatly, greatly ahead of it. Can it kill heavies? It kinda can. It kinda can. Uh but first things first though, let's talk about why this gun is such a colossal fart of a support weapon. I feel useless just by even taking it. You know, there's a lot of social pressure in this game by just taking it. Cause you, when you brief with your fellow teammates, they can see what you're bringing in. They can see what your life is like, what you choose, who you are as a person. And it's very hard to sit there and knowingly, you know, pick it in front of the other three people. Okay. Social pressure comes in a lot of forms. You know, you want to send your food back. You know, the waiter's like, how'd you like your food? You know, you're very pressured to be like, it's okay. Public speaking, it's all, probably a little harder, depending on how many people there are. You know, but you can get through that. But then you gotta, <laughs> you gotta sit there and pick your heavy machine gun. And you can't leave that screen until everyone's readied up. Let them know that that's who you are. It's vulnerable. It's, it's exposing. But, you know, you could be proud about it. And that's what I'm trying to tell you now. You can run the heavy machine gun. Be proud about it. And I know a lot of people are going to talk about, yeah, you can't, you know, you can't aim on third person. And yeah, but it has a heavy recoil and all the other guns pretty much have a third person reticle. And it's really easy to, I guess, adjust for that, you know, to compensate for the recoil. If you can see where that, where that reticle is, because the sway kind of tells you where it's really going, depending on where you're looking at. So by limiting that, it feels a bit more immersive. Yes, it's immersive, but it's still god awful, you know. Plus the firing range, the range of fire rates on this thing is is just I don't I can't make sense of it. You literally have um, snail mail to overnight shipping for your for your settings, and none of it feels you know in Goldilocks where it's like you know like uh, this 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 is just right. This is this is too much. This is just this is just okay. None of them are just okay. All of them are awful, but some are better than others. You know, I mean, if you compare it with other machine guns. They have their pros and cons. This gun is all con, you know. The stalwart is pretty good with, you know, handling uh, lightweight mobs. It's very good at just, you know, just peppering them. Just, you know, hit stunning them. The machine gun is, is your pretty good bread and butter. It covers all the bases. Um, and then the, you got the heavy machine gun, which is... Which is, you know, it's a heavy machine gun. So you expect a lot of things, but you're not getting a lot back out of it. But for some reason, if you want to run it, if you want to, to take it with you in your level nine drops, then this is what I did that made it work. Uh, first of all, you're going to have to run supply pack. Supply pack is a must. You can't just shoot 75 bullets and then take seven whole seconds to reload and then shoot seven, 75 bullets again in four seconds and then reload again and then that's it you know and on the plus side one supply pack resupply does fill up the whole two mags so you're effectively getting 150 ammo per resupply um and you're still gonna want to run light armor 
Um, I know heavy armor can help with compensating for the recoil. Um, the specific ones that mention it in the armor tag, but you're going to be running a lot constantly just to get some distance between you and the mob so that you can reload because it's it's a four second or so reload, especially for a full one. So being able to, you know, run as far as you can and then pop the reload is going to increase your efficiency with this. And then the last one I'm going to say is you're going to want to bump this baby up to 1200 RPM and use it for heavies. And no, you can't hit like the front spot of a charger. And then the only thing you can hit is, you know, the weak spot on the back. You just grate that thing like cheese. You know, you churn it like butter. All right. This, you can just eviscerate it from there. And it's actually very, very fun to do that. It's actually very, very satisfying to do that. And, you know, that's what sells the gun for me. The fact that I can just run up to these things, stand toe to toe with them and just you know, rain full on democracy on them is why I like to bring this gun over to Quasar Cannon. And you can see over this, you know, over the series of patches, over the series of time, that being able to deal effective damage from a distance is what makes a gun optimal. You know, rail guns, EATs, and now you got the Quasar Cannon. So I feel like they knew they being Arrowhead Studios knew what was going to happen when they released these guns right next to each other. One's a very good, you know, meta weapon. The other one is a complete for fun gun, you know, because it's risky. It's risky to just mag dump on a charger butt or a, or a bile, you know, booty like that. So you got to find out an approach that makes it work. It's risky. It's risky. You will shoot a lot. You will miss a lot. You will mag, you will mag dump after mag dump. But it is fun. Holy shit, I just evaporated that thing. It's a lot different than the way I most played. You know, you're gonna have to take a little bit of a. You're gonna have one of these charges to charge past you, maybe hit a wall, get them stunned, have someone else draw, you know, Baltine aggro, and then just sneak underneath its legs and oh just, you know. Oh my goodness. Just like, just. Because it's not really a gun for dealing damage. It's not. It's, it's, it's a statement piece. It's. It's bohemian style flare pants. You know that guy in the logo of the game with the flag and a machine gun? He's not shooting anything. He's not look, but he is what you look at. He is the morale booster. And that's what you're going to be with the heavy machine gun. You know, in the squad of four, that's you. That's your role you play. You're the morale boosting drummer boy. So I want you to kick that baby up to 1200 RPM. All right. And just do your best because that's literally all we can we can tell you to do. All right. And if you like what you saw here, if you like what you heard here, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, let me know what your experience with this gun is. I spent a lot of time playing this game. I haven't seen a single person use the heavy machine gun. You know, even if it was just a random point of interest drop, it, it's just a crutch. So, but you know, crutches need some love. So we got to give some love to our crutches. So yeah, that's the heavy machine gun. Oh.